In example one, we took a look at mutually exclusive events, and that are those are events that do not share outcomes. So now let's take a look at non mutually exclusive events where outcomes are shared. A student made target includes two overlapping squares. Assume that a sticky ball thrown at the target is equally likely to land anywhere on the target. What is the probability that the ball lands inside one or both of the squares? So here we have total area 1200 centimeters. We have one square here that's 100 centimeters squared and another square here that is also 100 centimeters squares. Now notice you should be able to see on your screen this area of overlap is 25 centimeters squared. So this is where we have some shared outcomes. So now let's go ahead and look at calculating that probability. So we're going to have the probability of, we'll just call it a, a event A and event B. A or B. Okay, so maybe we'll say event A is that the ball lands in this square. So I have 100 centimeters squared here. We'll just write that as 100. Total area, 1200. Plus, it's a four statement, we're going to add. And now event B. And that again is 100 centimeters squared over the total of 1200 centimeters squared. Now I got to be careful because if I do this, what's happened is I have counted in the area here twice. So I need to remove it one time. So I'm going to subtract 25. My area of that overlap is 25 centimeters squared. So 25 over 1200. That is going to leave me with 175 over 1200. And if I reduce that fraction down, it is 7 over 48. And again, I can write this probability as a fraction. This is okay, 748, this is okay. I could also write this if I um, do seven divided by 48, I get 0 0.15, totally okay. I can also write this as a percentage, 15%. All three answers are correct and acceptable. So here we go. Probabilities of non mutually exclusive events. If A and B are not mutually exclusive, meaning that they do share outcomes, then the probability of event A or B occurring equals the probability of event A plus the probability of event B minus the probability of event A and B. Let's go ahead and take a look at your try it. And again, I encourage you to pause the video, jot it down, give it a shot, and then come on back and see how you did. So a video game is played on a 34 centimeter by 20 centimeter rectangular computer screen. A starship is represented by two overlapping circles of radius six centimeters, whose area of overlap is 20 centimeters squared. A black hole is equally likely to appear at any point on the screen. To the nearest hole percent, what is the probability that the point will appear within the starship? I am not a fan of them having you guys calculate a lot of area. We're just going to go through it. You will not see something like this on a test. I'm going to give you the area and then let's work with it. So the area of the screen is going to be 34 by 20 and that was centimeters. So the area of the screen is 680 centimeters squared. The area of each circle is 
area is of a circle is pi r squared. So that is 36 um, pi centimeters squared. And then your overlap, they already gave you that area. Overlap is 20 centimeters squared. So again, we have the possibility of um, shared outcomes. This is non mutually exclusive. So when we do probability of A or B happening. So here probability of each circle. So I've got two of these circles. 36 pi over my total was 680. Plus and then the other circle was also 36 pi over 680 and now I need to subtract the overlap which is 20 over 680 and this I'm just going to pop it in a calculator and what we're going to get is 0 0.3 30 percent. Okay.